He said it. I believe it. He said it. It is done. We give God the praise today. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Live, screaming live. Amen. Here at the I Am Church. Coming to you from Edgewood Avenue West. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare and decree that in the name of Jesus, that this place is saturated with your glory and with your presence. We decree that the atmosphere is set. We thank you for being that artist that's painting on the canvas of our hearts and painting on the canvas of this atmosphere. Do what you want to do, and we avail ourselves to you even now. In Jesus' name, and the church said amen and amen. If you will, amen, just just do something for the Lord today, amen. Give God some praise, amen. Holler, scream, clap your hands, stomp, stomp your feet, wave your hand. Whatever you're going to do, give God the glory. Praise God, hallelujah. We give him the praise. We praise him. We elevate ourselves. We are on that praise elevator. We're going higher today in the name of Jesus. Glory. We're elevating from our conditions. We're elevating from our place and our circumstance and happen chance. We are elevating even now in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you. We praise him. Hallelujah. We praise him. Glory to God. We praise him. Hallelujah. We raise him. Hallelujah. We raise ourselves by by praising him by glorifying him by lifting him up he said i if i be lifted up glory to god not just a cross but even in my name glory he said if i be lifted up even in praise if i be lifted up even in your worship if i be lifted up in your life i will draw all men unto me glory to god if they're if they're drawn to him they're drawn to you because the favor of the god is if god is upon the believer Come on, clap your hands and thank God for his favor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel so good. I do. I do. I tell you, I feel so good. I can preach to myself by myself. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God for the people of God being in the house of God. Well, there's two or three gathered together in my name, he declares, that he would be in the midst. I want you to know the Lord is sitting right next to you. He's sitting on your road today. He's sitting, probably sitting in your lap. Amen. He's just probably letting you just have a good time with him. Praise him. Amen. If you will, turn your Bibles. Turn your Bibles. Amen. A very familiar psalm, a very familiar psalm. Many of you all are familiar with the text and the context, amen, of this particular psalm that David writes. Oftentimes, I hear many of us, we would, we would declare this, we would decree it, we would even enunciate this particular psalms in our lives. We would say, uh, Psalm 34 and verse 1, we would say, I will. Somebody say, I will. <laughs> Amen. I will. I ain't waiting for nobody else. <laughs> I will. I'm not I'm not gonna wait and see what you're gonna do. Amen. I will. I will. I will. I will bless the Lord. Praise God. I will bless him. I will extol him. I will exalt him. I will bow down before him. I will bless the the Lord. Watch this. Now, now I'm going to tell you, first of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to tell you who I'm going to do it to. Amen. I will bless who? The Lord. And then I'm going to tell you when I'm going to do it. At all times. Somebody said all times. I will. I will bless. I will do it. I will bless the Lord. I will bless him, and I will do it at all times. I'm going to tell you what I would do. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to do it to. I'm going to tell you when I'm going to do it. I will bless the Lord at all times. Is that really true in your life? Is that really true in your life? Watch this. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. If I had a thought today, my thought would be his praise. Good God, I might have almost leaped just then. Uh, I thought I was a leaping frog. His praise. Somebody say his praise. His praise, that, that changes the dynamics of everything. That, that changes even the dichotomy of things. That changes even the dimension of things. Because what I'm saying is, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise, good God Almighty, I didn't say cognac praise. I said his praise. I didn't say Kanye praise. I said his praise. I didn't say Beyonce praise. I said his praise. I didn't even say uh, Kirk Franklin praise. I said, but his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The thing with the men of us, we're praise everything and everybody but we won't praise god 
Mm. Uh, I'm going to praise him if I praise him by myself. I praise him laying on my bed. I praise him sitting in a chair. I praise him driving down the street. I don't need nobody with me to praise God. But, but it's good to know that I praise him publicly and privately. <laughs> I'm going to give God his due. I'm going to give it to him. Somebody say, I'm going to give it to him. See, see, see the, the thing is, we don't understand that when we praise God, our c- circumferences change. Things around us change. The atmosphere changes when we praise God. Because let me tell you something. There's some changes going on even in this room right now, and you don't even see it. You don't see the radio waves that's going on in here, but they're here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to prove they're here. If you remember uh, those uh, couple of weeks that, that we was having drops in our service on Facebook, now we didn't see nobody go push no button. We didn't see nobody come in here and unplug anything, but it changed our uh, streaming live on Facebook. Why? Because they there was an atmospheric change. There was a radio uh, go, uh, seat frequency going on in the atmosphere. And that's why we all understand that we wrestle not mm-hmm, against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. Y'all better talk to me. Uh, and see, the Bible says we, 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 we fight against the power mm-hmm, of the air. Yeah, somebody said it's the spirit. The spirit of the power of the air. We're talking about demons. Demons. They're roaming in here right now. They, they ain't welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. They're not welcome. And guess what? They can't even interfere with anything that you're doing. Why? Because you are glorifying God in your spear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, God is in my spirit. God is in my circumference. And because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Freedom. There's liberty. There's liberty. Praise him. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you. Let me talk to you a little bit. I praise him. Praise somebody say, praise him because of what he has done. Praise him for what he is doing. And praise him for what he's going to do. Oh, I just got excited. I see my future. Good God Almighty. I saw my future then. I had a dream. I told them about my dream. I ain't going to tell everybody about my dream. But I had a dream, boy. I, ooh, I had a dream. I had a dream that I saw God doing something. I mean, he was doing something so powerful. It. I mean, it, it, it blew my mind. It really did. I saw it was so vast and so big when I saw God doing it. And then I saw it. Watch this. I saw it all disappear. And then I saw a flood. God said, here come the overflow. <laughs> Good God, man. Ooh, somebody say it all left, but I, I saw God come back with overflow. Somebody says it's about to get better than the loss. Good God, ah, it's about to get better. Why? Because when you praise God, things changes. Mm, let me see that. I got to read that again. Praise him because of what he has done. Can you think of something that God did mighty? I'm talking about powerful in your life. I'm talking about already did. He, it's already, it's in your past. He's already done it. And, but it's a testimony. Somebody says a testimony. See, God does things in our, in our life so we can reflect. He told Israel all the time. He would all tell them, he would tell them, said, put these stones right here. And, and watch this. And see, it, don't think that your testimony is just for the people that you're sharing it with. Your testimony is a, is a deflection. It's for them and you. <laughs> I'm about to stream up in here. I said your testimony is a deflection. It's not just for the person you're talking to, but it's for you too because it bounces off of them back onto you and it reminds you and you say, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, boy. And somebody, I heard somebody say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for my many deliverances. I thank God for my future deliverances. I thank God for my present delivered God is doing it now henceforth and forevermore says God never stops he never stops he never stops and and I want to bring you somewhere here with this particular uh, text here when David writes this he writes this psalm he pins this psalms and 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 you would take it personal you really would because you say I would bless the Lord you think he's talking about you (laughs) yeah yeah. he said I would bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth when David pins this psalms he he's pinning this psalm based on a, a conversation that he's having and an experience that he's having David is having a very horrific uh, experience at this point. He's he's really going through a hard trial because David is running for his life. Yeah, he's running for his life, y'all. He, David is running for his life. He's running from Saul. Saul ha- uh, throwing the javelin at him. He's trying to kill David. He tried to pin David against the wall and David was so swift uh, uh, David was swift. See, when you're praising God, you'll be swift because you know David was a worshiper. David was a praiser. Amen. He praised God even in his good 
situations, even his bad situations, David would praise God. So God's anointing would cause you to be swift. <laughs> when the enemy trying to uh, throw dots at you, God will call you to be swift. Somebody say swift. I'm swift. I'm swift. David, David uh, on the run. He's on the run. And while on the run, he and his uh, compadres, him and his, his uh, army got hungry. They needed something to eat. They was feeling faint on the journey. They'd have no more bread. They had nothing to eat. They had no lamb and they had no food. They had nothing. They had no lentils. They had nothing to eat. And David came up with this brilliant idea. I know what I do. I go to the priest. I go to Ahimelech. He went to the priest Ahimelech. And he, when he got to him, Ahimelech uh, told David, he said, and David looked in his hand. He said, give me some of that bread. David David, he told David, he said, no, I can't give you this because this is the show bread. Uh, this is the bread that only is going to be offered up to God. I can't let you get this. I can't, I can't let you do it, David. It's not that time for this bread to be shared. I can't. It's the holy bread, and anybody just can't put this bread in their mouth. Oh, I'm about to haul up in here. And you know, Jesus said, I'm the bread of life, and you can't eat this bread unless your, your vessel got to be right. You got to, you got to have a holy vessel to eat this bread right here. And here is David. David writing this Psalms and he's talking to Ahimelech and he's trying to persuade Ahimelech to give him this bread and, and, and Ahimelech was kind of concerned because he saw David by himself. He thought David was trying to come up with some shenanigans because David don't usually travel without his army. And when he saw David by himself, he got a, he said, "David, what you up to? You all by yourself? Are you trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Because I know you, I know you're running from Saul and everything. But are you trying to uh, take over? Are you trying to take a, a do a sneak attack or something?" And, and and when he told David about that bread, David said to him. He said, I, 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 my, I, we, I got to have that bread. I need that bread. That bread's going to sustain me. I, I need you to give me that bread. I know I heard what you said. You said that's holy bread. And I know you said that's holy bread. But I remember my mind goes back to when, when uh, Samuel came and pulled that holy oil on my head. And when he pulled that holy oil on my head, that made me holy. Somebody said, talk to me today. <laughs> see, see, don't discount yourself when God have already ordained you. Don't discount yourself when God had already laid his hands on you. You are a holy vessel. You, you deserve to eat that showbread. You, you deserve to drink of that blood because your vessel is now holy. Then Ahimelech says to David, he says, David, uh, what about them boys you want to take this bread to? Are they, have they been sustaining themselves from, from women? Are they, are they, their vessels, are their vessels holy? David said, yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they've been with me, so I know they're good. I know they ain't been hanging out. I know they ain't been doing nothing. They ain't got no business doing. So I know their vessels are pure. So yes, you can give me that bread. He gives David the bread, then gave it, David goes down to, somebody say a kish. <laughs> David goes down here, yeah, he, David travels are not over, he, his, his, his affairs are not over, he's still moving about trying to get some things done. And the Bible says David goes down to a kish, and he, when he gets there, he, he, he's the king of, of Gath. He's now in another location. And, and many uh, uh, theologians believe that when he was talking to Abimelech, uh, they correlate that David uh, behavior changes then, but that's not when it changed. David behavior changed when he got to Akish, when he got among the king Gath of Gath. He, he gets there and David He's going through and, and he's being recognized. Somebody say, yeah, somebody, no matter where you go, somebody's going to recognize you. If you're a God praiser, they're going to recognize you. They're going to see God hand on your life. And, when they, and then when that soldier saw David, he was the chief herdsman of Saul. And he recognized David. He said, hey, isn't that David? Isn't that they, David? Isn't that the one uh, that, that they say uh, they dance into his songs? <laughs> Lord have mercy. They, 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 see, when, when they were dancing to David's songs, they were dancing to David's praising God. Y'all remember David praised God so he came out of his clothes. <laughs> Lord have mercy. David danced so hard he, he his 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 robe fell off. <laughs> David was dancing so hard until his sandals slipped off his feet. Why? Because he was dancing to the glory of God. See, let me tell you something. If you really praise God, you'll get out of your mind. 
Mm. <laughs> yeah, you when you when you really praise God, you ain't thinking about your surroundings, your your, your your circumferences. You're not thinking about your parameters. You're not thinking about your proximity. You're not thinking about your atmosphere. All you're thinking about is God on the throne, and you praising Him, you lifting Him up, you glorifying Him. It's just me and my God. Mm. Oh, I feel like preaching, y'all. I do, I do, I do. Because I want to I want to talk to you a little bit. I want to I want to tell you some things because it's so important that when we praise God, things change. Here is David in a kish, and he's among the king of 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 Gath. And, and the king says, uh, when he recognized that the the herdsman and snitched on, on David. He did some dry snitching, y'all. He, he done snitched on David. He said, "Isn't that the one? Isn't that David, the one who, the, the, when they when they were singing, they was dancing in the streets, and they were saying, uh, David's ten thousand, Saul's one thousand. That's what got David in trouble, y'all. <laughs> These people singing, they singing, and they, they and they celebrating David because David celebrates God. Hallelujah. See, when you celebrate God, people are celebrating." you oh y'all help me today because let me tell you something there got to be some truth to that mm -hmm. there got to be some truth to what i just said because because in it as goes what goes on on the earth goes on in heaven what goes on in heaven goes on on the earth because let me tell you something See, people they, they are celebritized people don't they don't they? they say that's a celebrity uh, they say they famous y'all talk to me and, and and they talk about them so if, let me talk to you just a little bit so if you can celebrate people yeah, if you can celebrate people and it brings favor, why can't you celebrate God and it brings favor? See, when you pray, when you praise God, when you lift God up, things began to happen. Oh, somebody say a change, a uh, change, a change. See, if you want to see a change, watch this. If you want to see a change, not just come over you, but if you want to see a change come around you, I dare you to praise God. I dare you. I double dog dare you. I do. I do. I do. Because let me talk to you a little bit. Let me talk to you. See, when you start talking about uh, Lucifer, somebody said Lucifer, uh, Lucifer, Lucifer, Lucifer. See, when you start talking about Lucifer, see, Lucifer was the that bright angel that was in heaven. Uh -huh, that was him. See, he was in heaven. See, we 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 changed his name to Satan. His Satan down here, but it was Lucifer in heaven. See, because he had that glorious voice. He was saying, ah, he was saying glorious songs. He was saying melodically to God he would play uh, and and he was uh, he would change the atmosphere of heaven with his voice and with he good God almighty that boy was so anointed that that even he he would sing and get God happy he would sing and God would stand up on the throne good God almighty, because Satan had a voice out of this world you think Luther can sing <laughs> oh y'all better help me uh, you think every, you think Fred and them can sing but I'm telling you right now you think R. Kelly can sing but Lucifer was a bad boy. He sung so he was singing so in heaven that he even called some of the choir to go with him when he went against God. He had to be a bad boy. Y'all talk to me. That boy was so anointed. He was anointed. He was anointed. See, anointing carries influence. Yeah, uh, anointing causes influence because let me talk to you. I ain't talking to nobody I don't know. I'm talking to people I know. I'm talking to y'all a little bit because when David was talking to the king of Gath, he was talking to them in a kish when his, his anointing had influence. He was so anointed. Watch this. <laughs> David was so ooh, good called him. Out. See, when you're a praiser, it affects people. Yeah, yeah, I said when you're a praiser, it affects people because but when this this herdsman, when he looked and he saw David and them and they start corralling together and they start remembering because of the anointing that was on David, because David was a praiser and David was a worshiper, and they remembered that and they say, Hey, 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 that's David. That's the one who 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 when the people sang and danced, they they say Saul's one thousand and David's ten thousand. And watch this. Ooh, good God Almighty. See the anointing, watch this. See the anointing with will cause you to, to know what to do in a situation that's in dangerous. Yeah, yeah, in a dangerous situation. I said the anointing would do that. See, the anointing, I said, I told you the anointing carries influence. See, see, the anointing, it don't just influence people that you're talking to, but it will influence you too. Oh, good God Almighty. Here is David. I said, here is David running from Saul, running for his life, and he thought he was doing the right thing when he went to Abimelech. Abimelech gave him some bread, and he 
he was on his way to his boys and he messed around and went through a kiss. <laughs> Somebody said, right when I thought I was uh, uh, out of danger, <laughs> right when I thought I was all right, <laughs> right when I thought everything was just fine, <laughs> I done walked myself into another situation where somebody recognized me. <laughs> oh, he recognized David. <laughs> and when he recognized David, the Bible says that David walked over to the door. <laughs> he walked over to the gate <laughs> and David began <laughs> to scratch on the door. <laughs> he began to carve, oh, could call the mighty, <laughs> like a person that's out of their mind like a person that's insane he began to scratch and, and scrape on the wall and scrape on the gate and scrape on the door and foaming out of the mouth and, and the foam started running down his beard good call the mighty y'all don't hear me see that was the influence of the anointing that was causing David to escape uh, uh, David was in a bad situation and God calls David to have some wisdom to act like a fool. He calls David to act like a madman. He calls David to act like somebody that was crazy. Y'all ain't talking to me. See, there's times in your life that you need to act like somebody ain't got no sense. See, the problem with you, you got too much sense all the time. There's a time that you need to act like you ain't got no sense. Don't you know when you act like you ain't got no sense, you'll get more people out of your way than you get people in your way. That's what happened to David. They told David, hey, you got to go. You can't stay around us acting like that. You got that man is crazy. He done lost his mind. As soon as he gets out of their presence, he's David again. There's that anointing. There's that influence of God that, that, puts, that he put on David when David was being anointed to be the king over Israel. Let me tell you something. When God God anoints you for your destiny can't nobody kill you when God anoints you for your destiny can't nobody stop you it don't matter what it is don't you know David was anointed to be the king and he was out of bread yeah, you can be anointed and be broke. Uh, talk to me, somebody. But if somebody said, but it's just temporary because uh, God is taking me somewhere. God is taking me where the overflow is. He's taking me where the more is. Somebody say, more is coming. Oh, I feel like preaching. See, that's what happens to praises. Praises are temporarily broke. Uh, yeah, talk to me. <laughs> because see, uh, can I talk to you a little bit? Can I walk this thing the way I feel it? See, praise is what I do. Praise is who I am. I vow to praise you through all that I go through. The good and the bad, whether happy or sad. I, 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 I made up my mind that I'm going to praise him. Somebody talk to me today. I'm going to praise him if I'm laying on my back. I'm going to praise him if I'm laying face down. I'm going to praise him if I'm laying on my side. I'm going to praise him if I'm, if I'm suspended in the atmosphere. I'm going to praise him. I done made up in my mind. I don't let things around me cause me not to praise my God because when I think of all the things that God has done for me I just got to praise him somebody say I got to praise him oh, I'm going to praise him in the morning I'm going to praise him in the noonday I'm going to praise him in the mid 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 midnight hour I got to praise my God every time I think of something that God has already done I ain't got to turn around I'm going to praise my God y'all know the song every time I think about what God has done I want to turn around but I ain't Gonna turn around. I'm gonna clap my hands. Oh, I'm gonna yell. I got to praise him. I just got to, got to, got to. I got to praise my God. Somebody say, I, I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise. I got to get it out today. I got to praise my God because he's been too good to me. God has been better to me than I've been to myself. He's been better to me than my last name been good to me. I wish I had me somebody. My inheritance haven't been this good to me because God has given me an eternal inheritance. Oh, y'all better help me. It's called a kairos. That's what it is. It's a kairos. See, God has given us a kairos moment. It ain't got no time stamped on it. Y'all better help me. See, when you are walking in the chronos, the chronos the of time, the chronological of time, that time runs out. 
y'all better walk with me in here. I'm so glad when I began to praise God, I'm not operating in the chronos. But when I'm praising God, I'm walking in the kairos. And somebody said the kairos moment. That's when I'm walking in because when I walk in that moment, I'm stepping into eternity, a timeless moment. It won't run out when I clap my hands and the sound barriers gets up in heaven. Somebody said the decibels gets up to God. Y'all better help me. I feel like praising him. When I began to praise God, the Bible says he stands up and he said, ooh, my people are praising me. Ah, Y'all better help me today. It ain't just a moment when man said it. When praises go up, y'all better help me today. I said when praises go up, elevation time is in the atmosphere. When you praise God, elevation time stamps in the atmosphere. When you began to praise God, somebody said when the believer began to praise God, it changes the dynamics of everything. When the believer began to praise God, it changes the atmosphere. When the believer began to praise God, it changes their situation. Your lifestyle change. When you began to praise God, God affects your wardrobe. When you began to praise God, God will change your status quo. I feel like praising them, y'all. Praise is the elevation for the believers. If we will praise him, ooh, I feel good. Uh, he'll raise us above our situation. When we began to praise God, the elevation starts taking place. And when praise go up, things happen in the earth realm. Help me, somebody. I said when praises go up, things changes in the earth realm. See, let me talk to you a little bit. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses penned this in the book of Pentos. In the five books of Moses, Moses write this in Deuteronomy chapter 26 and 19. Listen to what I said. He said, and, and make thee high above all the nations. That's what God will do. He'll make you high above all ethnicities. God will make you stand out. Good God, I feel good now. See, he, see when he puts his name on you, when God stamps his approval on you, when God puts his anointing on you, when God puts his name on you, he he, he raises you up high above all ethnicities, against all, above all nations, watch this, which he hath made. It's kind of, it sounds a little strange, don't it? That God will make all this stuff, all these people, and he'll raise you up above them. <laughs> uh, see, people get mad when they see you, you and you posturing yourself. <laughs> you think you all of that. <laughs> you think you above everybody. <laughs> Ain't my doing. <laughs> God did it. <laughs> you want to take it up with somebody? <laughs> take it up with God. <laughs> you want to write somebody a love letter? <laughs> write God. <laughs> you want to write your hate letters? <laughs> write God. <laughs> you want to send me a nasty email? <laughs> send it to God. <laughs> Tell me somebody. <laughs> you want to send me a nasty text? <laughs> send it to God. Because <laughs> I ain't going to read it no way. I think it came from the wrong party. I ain't reading it. Somebody talk to me up in here. Oh, and make thee high above all the nations which he hath made in praise. So don't let nobody tell you, oh, well, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't no better than nobody. That ain't what God said. God didn't say that you said that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with God. I'm going to stick with God said about me. He said he didn't raise me above y'all. I'm raised above y'all. And you don't like it? Take it up with God. And watch this. And watch what he says here. And, and to make thee high above all nations which he had made. Watch this. Which he had made in praise. Somebody say in praise. And he had made it in his name. Somebody in his name. And in honor. Y'all better help me up in here. And that that thou mayest be an holy people unto the Lord thy God as he has spoken. Boy, ain't nobody, can nobody discount that? <laughs> so, y'all know when e, they say when E.F. Hutton has spoken. Y'all know. What I'm <laughs> see, 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 when, see, see, when God speak, can't nobody, can't, can't nobody uh, discount that? Can't nobody come behind that? Can't nobody come and say, oh, no, that you can't chop that up. That, 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 that's, that's great. That, you can't chop what God says up. You can't make that not happen. If God said it, ain't no devil in hell can stop it. 
It's going to happen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Oh, I thought I see some things happen. I do. I do. See, see, I'm a praiser. I'm a praiser so I can look at my future. See, when you're a praiser, things don't just happen in your past or in your present. It happens in your future. See, God takes you back to what he did, and then he brings you to what he's doing, and then he takes you to what he's going to do. Y'all better help me. I see some things happening. Glory to God. Oh, I'm not going to let my present set circumstances prevent me from praising my God. I see you back there. Something is going to happen. I see some things happening. I feel some things happening. See, what happens when you begin to praise God, when you begin to lift God up in your life, it changes things that used to be from what they used to be to what they're going to be. Oh, I feel good today. I said, my, tell my, talk, tap yourself on the shoulder. Say, I feel my income changing. I feel my income changing. See, when you, when you start praising God, God will affect your money. Yes, he will. You don't you know them boys were walking with Jesus? I'm talking about Peter and them. They was walking with Jesus and they needed to pay their taxes. Can I go to this? See, they needed to pay their taxes because they was praisers, y'all. But tell me, they was praising Jesus. They were walking with Jesus. See, when you walk with the Lord, you're saying to people, you praise him. Yeah, that you allow him. You adore him. Yeah, I I adore him yeah 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 come and let us adore him that ain't just christmas time that's every day you ought to adore him you ought to praise him you ought to lift him up because when you began to lift him up it changes your molecular structure things that goes on inside of you the devil might be in t attacking your body he might be trying to put something on you somebody say the devil it, see, see when we start talking about root workers and witchcraft workers we forget the devil we start looking at people they ain't got that power on their own the devil giving them that power the devil giving them power for that dust to work the devil giving them power for that chicken leg to work y'all better help me up in here but I'm talking to you you know ain't no chicken leg got no power if it did the, the, the chicken would have some power and he ain't got none so the devil be giving people power with the chicken leg help me somebody but I'm so glad that the bible tells me that greater that's he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let me tell you something. When you begin to praise God, it affects heaven. It affects the earth. The sound barriers start going throughout the earth. We think it's just going to happen in the room. We think it's just going to happen up in here. But when the sound barriers go out, they hit the atmosphere and it travels everywhere. It starts affecting things. It affects your children. It affects Auntie Nim. It affects your cousins. It affects your enemy. When you begin to praise God God would change your situation the enemy be trying to work something against you y'all hear what I'm saying see witchcraft is private they don't come knocking on your door saying they got some voodoo dust they do it in private that's what the devil do he try to do a sneak attack but I thank God when I began to praise him the sound barriers go out and the enemy be affected by my praise somebody say my praise affects everything around me my praise affects me even if I'm sick if I began to praise God I feel a little bit better somebody say praise is the breakfast of a champion praise is lunch of a champion praise is supper for a champion all you got to do is begin to praise God I believe you start feeling a little bit fuller if you begin to praise God I believe it to make you feel better. Somebody say, I feel good now. I felt like James Brown just did when I said that. I feel good when I began to praise God. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, see, when we be thinking about praise psalms, uh, we, we usually have the ones that we choose. And the reason why I selected this particular uh, psalms here, because it talks about the, di the, the didactics of something that David did. It, 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 it really do something to me when I think about this psalm, because usually when I say, I would bless the Lord at all times and his praise will continue to be in my mouth. Uh, and, and when I usually, when I read that, I'll be thinking about my personal self. Uh, I, I just be thinking about, you know, uh, uh, things that God has done in my life and, and that's what I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking like that. But but now today, it, it has a different significance to it because it says, praise him. <laughs> yeah. See, it didn't say praise that call you about to get. 
Go to that house you're about to get. Uh, but that raise you've been praying to God for. And it, it, said, it says praise him. See, when you begin to praise him, uh, he the, the scripture says, I'm, I, just, I got to say what the Bible says. It says the earth is the, yeah, him. Yeah, praise him. Because the earth is his. Mm -hmm. And the fullness thereof belong to him. Him, y'all better talk to me. So, so when I praise Him, all these things that belong to Him start coming to me. Don't miss that. <laughs> don't don't miss that. <laughs> don't y'all miss that? <laughs> because because I'm praising the Him who owns all of this, and because I'm praising Him who owns all of this, I'm in the I'm in the same position as the Him. <laughs> See, because watch this now, y'all know, y'all, y'all better know y'all Bible. It says we we're sitting with him in heavenly places. We're walking with him in heavenly places. So how in the world that I'm gonna praise him and what belongs to him don't come to me? Oh, I'm in close proximity to my next miracle. Y'all better help me. I said I'm in the next. I'm in, I'm in the next proximity to my next miracle. I feel it. I'm, I'm getting closer to my next miracle. I feel this thing. I want you to know when you begin to praise God, it brings you closer to your miracle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're just taking this as a literal message today, you can go home. You can have your own benediction because this is not a literal message today. This is a prompted by heaven message today. This is a message that's going to change your life from now, hence, and forevermore. It, just embrace it. Just embrace it. Watch this. Watch this. Now, David, David, uh, help us out, David. Help us out, David. David says in, in Deuteronomy chapter 10, 21, he says, he is thy praise. He is thy praise. Yeah, somebody say praise him because he is my praise. <laughs> yeah, he's the reason why I praise. <laughs> Glory! Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I felt that thing in my gut. <laughs> see, 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 it's hard to praise God and, and not to be impacted by it. it it's, it's hard to lift him up and it not have some effect on you. It, I see, I see Andre's uh, forehead shining. That's, that's that, that. See, when he he's he's praising God back there, so it's affecting his his countenance. You, you know, because see, what shows on your countenance is what's going on in your heart. Because the scripture says a man's heart shows up on this countenance. <laughs> Good God Almighty. If you got a dark heart, your face going to be dark. Mm -hmm. But thank God for the light of his glory that's shining upon us. Uh, listen to what David says here in this Deuteronomy 10, 21. He is thy praise and he is thy God. See, don't just let him be your praise. Let him be your God that hath done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. See, these are the reason why we ought to praise God. We ought to praise God for what we've already seen. Because if I praise him for what I've already seen, I'm setting myself up for what I'm going to see. Oh, I just went somewhere then. <laughs> oh, I got to say this thing. I feel something. See, that's that law of attraction. That's that law of attraction. See, because, see, if you, if you know, thank you, Holy Ghost. See, uh, it's called Thanksgiving. Somebody said Thanksgiving. See, if you're grateful, somebody said grateful, grateful, great. See, if you're grateful for what God has already done, you're setting yourself up for God to do something else. Yeah. I don't, I, see, that's just, can I say it? <laughs> There's just some things in my life I don't want God to do again. I want better. That's what I, I want better. I want to see some improvement. Uh, don't, you know, you ain't got to do that again. Just improve on that. Do better than that. Somebody said do better than that. See, God is a better than that. Talk to me, somebody. God took, each, uh, took Israel from, from bondage, and he took them to the promised land. Somebody said he's better than that. See, they were the ones who was who, yeah, um, uh, just, uh, uncouth. Let me just say that. They were the one who was uncouth, uncanty, to think so um, uh, stupid. I just have to go there. <laughs> to be so stupid, to be on their way to the milk and honey land, and then you thinking about where you came from. Now, that God wanted them to forget. <laughs> Now, the only testimony he wanted them to, to remember back there is he brought them out. He didn't want them to think back and think about how good it was. See, that, see that's what gets us in trouble, y'all. But help me. So you ain't praising God thinking about how good it used to be. 
Yeah. Uh, see, there ain't, you ain't lifting God up thinking about how it used to be. Talking about you went like, child, when I was with Bobo. <laughs> what? Bobo? Not Bobo. Bobo wasn't all that. Because if Bobo was all that, you'd still be with Bobo. Y'all help me today. <laughs> the devil can't be better than God. Watermelon can't be better than milk and honey. Help me somebody. Uh, 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 onion can't be better than milk and honey. Y'all help me here. The, the milk, the milk and the, and the honey is better than onions and cucumbers. Y'all help me out here. God gave you something you talk about. What is that? <laughs> You're trying to figure out what God gave you instead of enjoying it. Lord have mercy. You 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 so busy trying to do a research paper on what God gave you instead of enjoying it. You better enjoy what God gave you. Y'all better help me. You better enjoy what God gave you. Because God, when God gives you something, He already know. Oh, y'all better help me. I said when God gives you something, He already know. God know what He gave you. He y'all help me now. He ain't got to explain nothing to you. And watch this. If he wanted you to know, he would have explained it. Are you walking by faith and you got to know everything? Oh, I'm about to lump. I'm about to jump, y'all. I said, how are you walking by faith and you got to know everything? When, when, when you're walking by faith, you don't see the end. But you're walking by faith. Now, watch this. I said, when you're walking by faith, you don't see the end, but your faith helps you see it. Your, watch this. Your faith, your faith, your faith tells you to just start walking. I don't, I, I don't see the outcome, but I'm, I'm walking. My faith tells me I'm walking towards something. Mm. <laughs> and I got a reason to start praising God right now. Somebody say right now, right now, right now. See, David, 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 David. Let's get back to David. We're going we're gonna to close it. Uh, uh, miracle Monday. Uh, we're going to have to come up with another miracle for you. <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, David in Psalms 9. In Psalms 9, verses 1 through 2, and 11 through 14, David pins this psalm. David says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. With my whole heart. I, I, I won't reserve nothing. Good God, I'm going to let it all hang out. Somebody said, I'm going to let it all hang out. I Y'all might look at me crazy. Y'all might look at me like I ain't got no sense, like I don't have no education, no intellectualism, that I ain't been nowhere. But that's all right. Think what you want to think. That's what they did with David. But I ain't, I ain't talking about David. I'm talking about me. I'm going to praise him like I lost my mind up in here, up in here, because God is worthy of all the glory. God is worthy of all the praise. Somebody help me praise him up in here. They, that's your whole heart. There ain't no reservoir. You ain't holding nothing back. Come on, somebody. I ain't holding nothing back. I ain't studying y'all. I'm praising my God. Praise him. Praise him. When you praise God, you forget about who you are. David forgot all about who he was. Acting like a stone fool. <laughs> David said, I'm getting out of this. <laughs> Oh, God gave David an idea how to get out of that. He, he couldn't have got out of that being acting like David, the warrior. They'd have killed him. But let me tell you something. When God got a place for you, he'll have you to change who you are to get you where he's going to take you. David, on, David was on his way to be the next king of Israel. He couldn't die there. <laughs> but but he, had, he had to act a little different. Watch this. But he had to act a little different than the normal David to get out of it. I mean, some of us just got too much sense not to have sense. David had a lot of sense, but he didn't have no sense at that moment. But he had some sense to get him out of that. Y'all help me today. David said, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Watch this now. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. See, praise him. Somebody said, in thee. I will sing praise to thy name. Ooh. Oh, I got to, I got to go to the psalm. I got to go. To, I got to go over there. I got to go over there. I feel, I feel a little laid. Can I feel laid? I feel laid. I got to go over here. Uh, there's, 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 a, there's a one particular word 
that I want to throw at you. David says in this psalm, in this uh, verse number two, Psalms nine and two, this is what he say. He said, he said, I will, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I got to get that. I got to get that ingrained inside. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for me, y'all. I'm doing this for me. Y'all might not get it, so I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. He said, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will. I will. I will. No, notice the I wills. You counting the I wills? If you go up uh, uh, the first I will and the second I will and this the third I will and we're on the fourth I will. The fourth I will. He said, I will sing praise to thy name. O thou most high. Not just high, most high. Couldn't call them out. Hey, you Elohim, you above every, every God. There, there are some gods, but you above all gods. You, you are Lord of lords and couldn't call them out. You are the most high. You, you're the creator. Nothing before you created anything. As a matter of fact, nothing before you live as long as you. Yeah, we, we, have, we have made idols. We have made gods and, and, and they gone. But you still here. Uh, uh, some, you, you, you must be eternal. You must be infinite. You, you, you must be uh, in another uh, sphere, another realm. You must be in a, a higher place because I said the most high. The most high. Most high. You, you higher than this. You higher than that. <laughs> You higher, somebody say higher, uh, higher, higher, higher. Life is engulfed in him. Life is infused in him. Life, 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 life. Attaching myself to life. And if you go to the hospital and, and something, and, and you're having, uh, uh, and they need to resuscitate you, they, 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 they hook you up to what they call life support. Somebody talk to me. <laughs> life support. See, we hooked up to life support. <laughs> See, he supports us all through life. We, we never disconnected. Somebody say, I'm, I'm never disconnected. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm always connected to my eternal life support. It's always inside of me. Somebody say, there's something inside of me. It's working inside of me. It's, it's doing some things inside of me. And, and then David says in Psalms, uh, uh, that verse 11, he says, sing praises. He's talking to us now. He said, sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Somebody said, come on, Zion. I'm talking to the church. Come on, church. Declare among the people his doings. See, he says, testify about God's goodness. Tell somebody about how good he is. Oh, boy, I was riding by a community today. I said, I'm going over there. I, I need to get out my car. I need to go over there. I need to go tell somebody about the goodness of God. I need to tell somebody about how good God has been to me and how good God want to be to you. I ain't saying he ain't never been good to you. I'm saying he want to be better to you. He want to do some things that's going to blow your mind. Verse 14. Says that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates <laughs> when I go to church, in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will. I will rejoice in thy salvation. I will rejoice in your deliverances. <laughs> See, God's going to do some deliverances, y'all, and I'm going to rejoice in all of them. Are you going to do it? Are you going to praise him now? Or are you going to wait? Are you going to praise him in advance? Or are you going to wait? Are you going to wait till you get the withdrawal? Or are you going to praise him now? Somebody I'm going to praise him with my deposit. My deposit today is going to be my praise. Can y'all walk with me? Because David said in Psalms 50, uh, 150, we say it all the time. Yes, we do. We do. We do. We do. Y'all know all six of them verses. If I tell you to rip them, y'all rip them right now. Y'all say, let everything have breath, praise the Lord. You you do it. I know you will. I know you will. But I'm, we're going to look at it a little different today because I know you're ready to do it. You're ready to jump out your seat and start praising God. I ain't tell you to do that, but I am going to say, praise ye the Lord. That's what he said. Praise ye the Lord. Now, I got some English majors in here, and I believe I got a couple of grades in English myself. And it says, when you see a period, you stop. There ain't a pause. 
That's a stop. And when you stop, ain't no, t- ain't no time to be revving the engine. Y'all be help me up here. And you see, when you stop, ain't no time to be, mm, mm. stop means don't be trying to go forward. Stop means don't try to go sideways. Stop means don't be trying to go backwards. Stop means right where you are. Position yourself. Posture yourself right where you are. Begin to praise God. Somebody said, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise him. 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 I dare you to say it. I dare you to say what I just said. I dare you. I dare you to keep saying praise him. I dare you. I dare you it will have an effect on you. I, I promise you. If you begin to say praise him, you ain't talking about nobody but him. You won't see nobody but him. You ain't hearing nobody but him. When you begin, begin to say praise him, you begin to see all the things that God has already done. When you begin to praise him, you'll see all the things that God has already done and what he will do. And y'all better talk to me up in here. God is a good God. Somebody say, yes, he is. He's a good, good God. Yes, he is. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the hand claps. He's worthy of all the glories. He's worthy of all. Uh, he's worthy of all the Shabbat and the Allahs. He's worthy. Somebody say he's worthy. Ah, I'm going to sound the trumpet in Zion. Ah, he's worthy. I'm going to sound the trumpet in Zion. I'm going to wake up the sleeping giant. I'm going to wake him up inside of me. I'm going to wake the church up. The sleeping church. The sleepy church. I'm going to wake him up with the sound of the trumpet. I'm going to wake him up. Glory! Wake up, Zion. It's time for you to get up off your stupor. It's time for you to get up and praise God. Somebody say, get up from sitting down. It's time to praise God. I ain't got time to be sitting down. I ain't got time to be worrying about nothing. I ain't got time to be concerned about anything. I got to praise God. That's the only thing that's on my medulla. Our blood God is to give God the glory. Ooh, the only thing that's on my temporal lobe is to give God the glory. The only thing that's on my occipital is to give God the glory. The only thing that's on my parietal is to give God the glory. Somebody say, I got to praise him. I got to give God the glory. Ah, I'm going to stop right here. I guess I'll leave this for some leftover. Y'all get this for Miracle Monday. But right now, I got to praise God. I said, but right Right now, I right now, right now, right now, I got to give him the glory. I feel a dance coming on. I say, right now, I got to give him the glory. Praise him, my God. I feel like David. I'm gonna dance up in here. Ah, I got to glorify him. I got to step it out. Ooh, he's worthy. I say he's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy of all the praise. My God, your God, our God is worthy of a hand clap right now. A good time for me to praise him is right now. I'm going to the hood. I said right now. I'm going somewhere. I got to give God the glory. I got to give him the praise. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him right now. I'll party later. But I got to praise God right now. I got to give God the glory in the right now moment, in this moment, in a Kairos moment. I got to give him the glory. Somebody say, I got to. I got to uh, affect my future. So I better praise God for my future. I'm going to praise God in my future. I'm going to praise him like I lost my mind. Somebody say, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. This is a praise church. Uh, come on, Zion. This is a praise church. We praise God up in here. We give God the glory up in here. We lose our mind up in here. When it comes to praising him, I'm going to lose my mind. When it comes to glorifying him, I'm going to lose my mind. When it comes to me showing him his worship, I'm going to lose my mind up in here. I got to praise him. I feel 
because the praise coming on and I gotta get it out. I'm gonna praise him now and I'm gonna praise him later. I'm gonna praise him now and I'm gonna praise him later. I'm gonna praise him for now and I'm gonna praise him for later. Somebody said, Praise him. Uh, uh, something came over me, y'all. I feel a praise inside of me. I feel melodically. I do, I do, I do. I hear a sound going on inside of me saying, praise me, praise me, praise me. Keep on praising me. God is doing some things. He's changing some things in your atmosphere. Keep on praising him. The sound barrier of your praise is going before you to break, make some productions on your behalf. You better praise him. I feel like praising him. I'm telling you what to do. You better praise him. Things are changing because you're praising him. Things are changing because you're praising him. Things are changing because you're praising him. I said things are changing because you're praising him. I see some things changing. I'm moving like David in the prophetic of the psalm. I feel the prophetic all over me. I see the things changing. Oh, good God Almighty. The reason why David praised God because David knew that his praise changed things. David knew that his praises changed his future. Even while running from for his life, it changed his future. Somebody help me praise God right now up in here, up in here. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. Uh, uh, how you do that? That's oxymoron, isn't it? But I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. Uh, I got to praise God today. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to praise him. I feel like praising him. I'm going to praise him for what I didn't do last week. I'm going to praise him this week. I'm going to praise him. If I didn't praise him last month, I'm going to praise him now. If I didn't praise him last year, I'm going to praise him now. I'm going to praise him for all the praises that I didn't do. I'm going to praise him. Now, y'all looking at me like I'm funny. Y'all don't know me, do you? I do this by myself for hours. I do this all by myself. I don't need no help. I leave here soaking wet. Yes, I will. I praise God because God did what he did. He didn't do it for you. He did it for me. So I got a reason to clap my hands. I got a reason to sound my voice. I got a reason to stomp my feet. I got a reason to, to nag my head. I wish I had me somebody. God has been good to me. I feel like going into some praise convulsions up in here. I do, I do, I do. I feel good today. I told y'all I feel like praising him. There ain't no way in the world you're going to be preaching about a message about praising God and you don't lose yourself in that text. I done lost myself, y'all, in the text. I done lost myself in this Bible. Oh, I feel good. Why? Let me talk to you. It's just like being a, a teacher. And you talking about the Holy Ghost. There's no way you go talk about the Holy Ghost and you don't get no Holy Ghost experience in your atmosphere. Just like praising. There's no way I could stand here and talk about praising God and it not come out of me. Did I not think about the moments in my life? that I shouldn't have been praising him, but I did. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, I think about some moments of restraints in my life, but I praised him. I, I think about, like Paul said, Paul says, y'all got me in these bonds, but I'm not bound. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, see, sometimes the devil think he got you bound, but I'm not bound. <laughs> I'm free. See, he who the son set free is free indeed. I'm, I'm made free not by the shackles that's on my feet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not made free by the shackles that's on my hands. I, I, but, but all I got to do is just begin to think about how good God has been to me. And then the shackles on my feet began to move off me. The shackles on my hand began to move off me. Why? Because inside of me, see, with my whole heart, I said, because inside of me, there's a praise that's going up that's unlocking some stuff. I, I, I feel good, y'all, because I'm thinking about Peter. While Peter was lying asleep in prison, he was snowing while he was in prison. He was in a sound piece of mind while in prison. The angel had to wake him up. Good God Almighty, when you're living a praise life, you got a peace of mind. When you're living a praise
today's life, you ain't worrying about what's going on around you because Jesus is going to work it out. Somebody say, yes, he will. I know he's going to work it out. I know he's going to work it out. That's what Peter was saying while he was asleep. And the angel came over and nudged him. He said, wake up, Peter. It's time to go. God's getting ready to change somebody's position. I see it. I see a position being changed. Ow! Good God Almighty. I see God changing some positions right now. I see it. I see it prophetically. There's some positions being changed. God didn't bring Peter up for nothing. He brought Peter up to let you know, just as I, just as I changed Peter, locked up prison situation, I'm about to change your situation to freedom like Peter. Ah! Shanin Dorobosha. Uh, but don't be like rolling them and pray for something you ain't believing because when Peter showed up they thought they were seeing a ghost <laughs> they, th they thought they were seeing things when Peter showed up what's so amazing about that text is just like Peter them thought that when Jesus was walking on the water he was a ghost same thing happened to him when he was at the door they looked out there they didn't see no praise report <laughs> they saw a ghost but when they let him in like the disciples when they let Jesus in the house when John when not, not, not John but old Thomas wanted to see the the prince for himself <laughs> he gave him a praise report didn't he Thomas stick your hand right there Thomas stick your hand right here don't you know when God presents these things to you he's presenting an opportunity for you to have a testimony because now Thomas are believing for anything he wouldn't doubt him for nothing. Y'all remember, don't you? It's that, it's that same Thomas. We call him Doubting Thomas, but nowhere in the Bible does it say that. It's that same Thomas that told the disciples, come on, let us go die with him. That Thomas. Now, he, that he can't be too doubting if he said, come on, let us go die with him. That's what he, that, that Thomas said to all of the, the, the disciples, even the bold one, Peter, who likes to stand out and say, just blurt stuff out. He said, come on, let's go die with Jesus, y'all. Nobody hesitated. They all began to go. And it was that same Peter that the Lord told, you know, y'all you know, you know, do know Peter, speak out. Peter said to the Lord, he said, Lord, I'll die. I'll die for you. I'll die with you. It's a good thing the Lord have discernment. That's why it's good for us to have discernment. Because he said to Peter, he said, Peter, the devil desire to sift you like wheat in small parts, small pieces, and dust. But it ain't going to happen because I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. Every time you think about God praying for you, Jesus praying for you, you ought you to start praising him. Y'all, y'all begin to praise him right then because if he praying for you, can nothing, let me say this, can nothing stop his prayers? Nothing. And then he he's so bold and so stout, can I say it? To say to us that just as Elijah was a man of like passion as you are, and he prayed that it didn't rain. And it didn't rain for three and a half years. And then he prayed in the rain. He said, you have the same proclivities. Ooh. Your, your prayers is that of just that effective as his. All you got to do is just ask. And not doubt in your heart. You have whatever you say. Thank you for being here today. Thank you all for for setting this, this atmosphere with praise. Thank you for allowing the sound barriers to go out through the city of Jacksonville and affect things. You want to change some things? Start praising. Glory. Start
start praising. The two P's, praise and prayer. You began to do those two things right there. It would change things in, in to Tokyo. You don't even have to get on no plane to fly to Tokyo and your prayers can affect what goes on in Tokyo. Your praise can affect what goes on in Tokyo without you even getting on the plane. Good God Almighty. Y'all, that's why, that's why I told y'all we operate in the Kairos, not the Kronos. Because we, we, even though we're in this world, that's what the Lord said. I didn't say it. He said, even though you're in this Kronos, you're not of this Kronos. <laughs> you're of the Kairos. Somebody said, I'm of the Kairos. Eternal. Eternity. There was a word from the Lord today and the word was for us all. The word, the word that came from God was for the entire world. It, 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 I'm sure it has made an impact on your life that would change you forever. It'll change your next decision. It'll change your next step. If you praise him, just like David, he would affect your medulla. He would affect your brain, your your psyche God will affect your psyche and cause you to change your way of doing things that's what he did with David David had one thing in mind but God had another and it didn't make David look good either y'all but he carried through <laughs> good God see sometimes you, you can't worry about how it's going to make you look you got to be concerned about how it's going to affect your future because if you do what God says do, it would affect your future in a brighter way. David, the same one that we saw all out of character, was the David that they crowned king of Israel. <laughs> Lord, I thank you today for praise affecting my future. I thank you for giving me the opportunity and the privilege to be a praiser to be a praise walker and a praise talker to speak of your goodness among the living help us God even now and forevermore to praise you with our whole heart teach us Holy Spirit how to praise Elohim teach us how to praise Jehovah teach us how to praise Yahshua hey glory Teach us how to praise Yahweh, Yahweh. Teach us, teach us how, how to praise. As we know not how to pray as we ought, we don't know how to praise as we ought. But we're asking you, Holy Spirit, to teach us how to praise as you teach us how to pray. We thank you today for being with us. Amen. If you're here and you, you want to know how these people pray, why they praise God the way they praise him, you get that opportunity to do that. You right now, right where you are, if you're screaming live, if you're with us and you have never knowingly or willingly asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart as your Lord and Savior, you have an opportunity to do it today. And I guarantee you, if you ask him to come into your heart, you begin to praise him. You're praising why? Because you was lost and now you're found. You was blind, but now you see. You began to praise him because you're in a different place than what you used to be in. Right there where you are, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's all you got to do is just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son and he died for my sins. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior right now. If that was you, it happened. If you did just that, those mere words, they're powerful, but they seem to be mere words. They're powerful. They would change your entire life. It changed mine for some 40-something years because what I did, just that. I did it the other way. I was... Uh, on my knees calling on Jesus, 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 Jesus. I ain't know, I ain't know no better. They said, call them, I called them. They said, call them like you want them. I called them even louder because I wanted them. <laughs> they said, call them like you want them. I called them even faster because I wanted them. <laughs> I, just, I just did what they said do, and I guess what? I got saved. Just that one verse in the Bible said multiple times, 
and I got saved. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I thank God for that moment and that opportunity. If you took advantage of that, you let somebody know. Confess with your mouth. Let somebody know I'm saved. I, I gave my life to the Lord today. I got saved. I was listening to that preacher talking about praise him. And I got saved in that moment at that time. This is the day. This is the day of your salvation. This is the day. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Don't dull your ears. Don't say, oh, no, I don't want to hear that. I hear, it, I hear it all the time. But you need to hear it all the time. Because there's going to come a time it ain't going to be heard. It's going to be a scarcity. Not of water and the famine of all that. It's going to be a famine of God's word. The truth going forth. You better get it while you can. You better get it now. I heard an old preacher, uh, late Bishop Callahan, used to say, to get all you can and can all you get, but open up the can. Don't leave it closed. I'm saying to you today, get it. Get what God got for you because salvation belongs to you. Jesus died for the entire world to be saved. And if you don't get saved, it ain't his fault. It's your fault. Because he made it available. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. Amen. If you are with us, we're going to show you ways in which you can give. If you want to give, if you want to be a blessing to us in a monetary way, we'll show you how to do that. Amen. I won't linger on that very long, but I do want to the flash on the screen so you can see how you can be a blessing to us here at the I Am Church. We thank you for joining us. Thank you for being on live, streaming live with us. Amen. Those of you who will be on YouTube. Amen. We thank God for the media department doing such an awesome job. Come on, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Amen. Amen. And give yourselves a hand too. Amen. If it wasn't for you, I think I wouldn't have preached that, like that madman. I preached like you. Thank y'all for having an effect on me. Amen. Thank y'all for coming. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. We got some more more day to go. Amen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this right on where it is. Come on, come on. Just stand if you will. Stand with me. Amen. Stand all over the building. Amen. Lift that right hand and repeat after me what I say unto one. I say unto all. Watch and pray and love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and all your strength. Oh, happy anniversary, T and Dwayne. Happy anniversary to y'all live from the I Am Church. Now look at that person, neighbor. <laughs> look at me. You owe me love. Now give it up. God bless y'all. Oh, and happy birthday, Tanya. Thanks for watching and we hope you were blessed. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel at TIAC Jax and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.